So here we see the latest um, modified crankshaft for a Royal Enfield 500 bullet that I've been working on and this one will be going into the heart of ASBO number 43 and this bike is actually one I used to own myself um, until last year and there's the odd short clip of me riding it on uh, one or two of my YouTube videos I think um, but anyway um, it had the magic self-destructing piston in it and the guy who owns it now was riding it and the piston decapitated itself and made a mess and even twisted the conrod so um, it was a full engine strip and even split the crank job so um, he decided that he'd like me to lighten the flywheels as I do and rebalance them and um, we're going to tune the engine up a little bit with a shortened alloy barrel and a 9 to 1 American made piston and a few other little tricks and here's the crank and I've got it set up here and as usual I've got my imperial um, dial gauge there and my metric one there uh, they're both set to zero at the moment uh, we've got from the naught to the five is obviously five thousandths of an inch on that one and the naught to the ten is actually 0.1 of a millimetre or four thousandths of an inch so um, the movement of the needles is going to be pretty similar uh, relative to thousandths of an inch so here we go let's spin it we've got the um, little uh, the probes of the dial gauges there where the main bearings live on the main shafts pretty much I can't move that one in any closer because it will bump the uh, flywheel as the flywheel turns but we're near enough um, where the main bearings live uh, let's give it a spin and see what we've got well, a deviation of about half a thousandth of an inch there. And when you bear in mind from the naught to the ten is four thousandths of an inch, we've probably got about one and a half thousandths of an inch run out on that one. So one and a half against a half, the needles are rising and falling together. In real terms, we've got one thousandth of an inch run out on that uh, crank assembly at the main shafts so I'm more than happy with that and that's ready to go into the crank cases when I get the new main bearings in and we'll build up a nice sporty bottom end ready for ASBO number 43.